Hey, welcome to the Plumbing Gurus. My name is Carson. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And on this channel, we're striving to save you money and keep you informed on all the proper plumbing practices. So today we, this is the on-site edition. If you haven't been here, just keep watching. We've got a whole playlist of great on-site videos. So this is a master bathroom reno. We'll kind of just talk to you quick about what we did. We've got a toilet over here. It stayed. We didn't do anything except for move the water line. It's a Toto toilet that the, the specs were very specific of where the water line had to be. So we had to take, it was coming out of the floor right here before. So I just cut open a hole, brought it up here, and I did it out. It had to be whatever, 11 and 3 eighths to the left of center and then six inches off the floor. So we did that. There actually used to be a shower here. So all we did was we, we got rid of the valve. There was a valve here, cut and capped the lines down there. And then there is a drain here. We just put a permanent cap. Actually, these lines that were here, I reused them and fished them up into here, into this sink. We added a sink here. So there used to be a sink, I believe it was right here. You can see the old water lines. There was a sink here and a sink here. Shower, toilet, tub. So what they wanted to do was they deleted the, they deleted the shower, or the, this shower brought the shower over there and got rid of the tub. So we have a shower over there. But first, I want to show you what I did here. There was a three by inch and a half TY here, and it was again the trap arm was just running right there. So all I did was I cut it, put a coupling on it, and extended it to the new center of that sink. And then I cut this as low as I could inside the wall without cutting the drywall behind. It was a bit of a pain because it's they actually only have a two by four wall that's strapped to three quarters, so it's not. There's not a lot of space there, so cutting with a sawzall wasn't super easy. So I left just enough to glue a piece in to keep this as low as possible. This is at about 22 inches. And then I cut it up nice and high so I could and put a fern co on, slid my fern co up, moved this out of the way, dropped my three inch in, slid the fern co back down. It was quite, quite simple to put on and it worked out pretty well. Brought our water lines up just above the drain. These vanities that they have apparently they we haven't seen them but they have told us that there's uh drawers in the middle so this the drain had to be dead center but the drawers have like a notch out in them so we had to make sure like they they marked the centers of the drains for us so we just brought it out exact center there same thing we just i just ran that over here brought my water lines up just above the drain tied the water lines back into the three quarter hot and cold over here is a bit kind of weird it's hard to explain what happened Clayton kind of did all this but it was <laughs> it wasn't done properly to, to the least like we don't we were we cut it open and like the drain dropped down it wasn't being vented properly it was like well over six feet it was like it was just the trap arm was well over six feet for the tub so we we redid it we added a vent back there so we we back vented it here came up here tied in above flood level rim because down here is is technically going to be a wet portion of the vent if there is ever a backup you want it to tie in here so that water isn't going back in and clogging off whatever vent this is for downstairs so he redid that and it ties in it's all up to code we're getting this inspected tomorrow so we ran this over here there's a shower big old shower it's pretty big it's gonna be a bench here they're actually gonna have a faucet here this is its own little faucet with like a hand shower I think just for cleaning then over here, they're going to have another faucet with like three body sprays, a rain head, and a little foot wash thing just to test to see how hot the water is. And it's a nice big shower. There's going to be a linear drain over here. We didn't put the P-trap in yet because the contractor is going to do it because he needs to put it in a certain location that he didn't actually know where it was going to go yet. So he asked us just to stub it over here and he'll put it in himself. And they're actually very good. They usually do their own stuff. But... In this one, they couldn't pull a permit, so they asked us to come in. Where it's a contract we work with, they do all their own valves. They usually do their own water lines. We just kind of come in and do their drainage because we know the code and we can pull permits. And that's all our inspectors care about is the drainage and making sure that everything's going to work properly. Uh, anything you can add there, Clayton? No, I think that was it. I, uh, other than <clears throat> that vent there was 90 out of the wall. and uh, Right. You yeah, show that. it was, they had it, because this was a cabinet before, so they had it 90 in, under the toe kick and then down, so it was like, now this is no longer a cabinet and it's going to be open to the to the space here, so we just drilled a hole and brought it up in the wall, 
which saves them from having to like box it out or something silly like that. Uh, I think that's I think it. that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, um, any any comments or anything that you think we could have done differently or something that you do, uh, let us know if your inspectors care about water lines or valves, shower valves or anything like that because ours don't. They just care about drains. Uh, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.